Hey there guys, in this tutorial we'll be learning more about Amazon RDS free tier. So as part of the AWS free tier, the Amazon RDS free tier helps new AWS customers get started with a managed database service in the cloud for free. You can use the Amazon RDS free tier to develop new applications, test existing applications, or simply gain hands-on experience with the Amazon RDS. Each calendar month, the free tier will allow you to use the Amazon RDS resources that I'm going to talk about for free. So the Amazon uh, free tier with Amazon RDS includes the following. It gives you 750 hours of Amazon RDS single AZ DT dot t2.micro instance usage running by MySQL, MariaDB, PostgreSQL, Oracle, BYOL, or SQL Server. Enough hours to run a database instance continuously every month. It gives you Oracle BYOL. It gives you 20 GB of general purpose SSD database storage, 20 GB of backup storage for your automated database backups and any user-initiated database snapshots. Backup storage is free up to 20 GB or the size of your database storage, whichever is less, and requires you to have at least one database instance running in your account. If you exceed the limits or if you terminate all database instances in your account, backup storage will be charged at standard RDS rates. Let's go ahead and check how we can initiate the RDS free tier using Amazon RDS. First off, by signing into the Amazon RDS console, you head to Databases. You click on Create Database. Now from here, you're going to go ahead and choose which type of database engine you'd like to run and accordingly, the plan that you wish to work with. So let's go with, for example, MySQL. And then we go ahead and choose one of the following templates. It could be a production, a dev test, or a free tier. So now our aim is to talk about the RDS free tier. Let's click on free tier and see the characteristics that it's going to give us. So as you can see, it's the db.t2.micro, includes T classes for the storage, 20 gigabytes, as we said before multi az de deployment there's no it's single az you have you can either activate path password authentication or password and im database authentication so let's continue talking about this service the aws free tier is available to you for 12 months starting with the date on which you create your aws account when your free usage expires or if your application use exceeds the free usage tiers, you simply pay standard pay as you go service rates and you can check them up later on. Restrictions will apply, of course. So the free tier usage tier applies across all AWS regions except the Gov Cloud United States and Asia Pacific Osaka local. Your usage is calculated each month across all regions and automatically applied to your bill. For example, you will receive 750 micro database instance hours for free across all of the regions, not 750 hours per every region. You keep in mind that free usage does not accumulate from one billing period to the next. So, as we said before, your Amazon RDS free tier can be applied to Amazon RDS for MySQL, for MariaDB, for PostgreSQL, for Oracle, and for the SQL server. And that's all for the free tier of RDS.